Good morning, friends. Today we're going to read the three Billy Goats Grub. Are you excited? I have my friend Braylon here with me. And we're going to read the story. And we're going to do an activity after. Yay! We're going to do an activity after in which we help the three Billy Goats Gruff to build a bridge to help them get across. But before we get started, I want us to do our story time song. So I need everyone to get up. And we sing it like this. Hands go up and hands go down. I can turn myself around. I can stand up on one shoe. I can listen, so can you. I can sit. Now we're going to sit down in our chair. I'll show you how story time is starting now. So now we're nicely sitting in our chairs and our happy hands are in our laps. And our listening ears are wide open so that we can listen to the story. Alrighty, let's get started. This is the front cover of the book, the spine of the book, and the back cover of the book. And this story is called The Three Billy Ghost Scruff. And this is called A Folk Tale. That means that it's a very, very old story that has a lesson at the end and we'll find out what that lesson is once we're done reading the story and the author is Paul Gadon that means that he wrote the words we're about to get started once upon a time there were three billy goats. They lived in a valley and the name of all the three billy goats was Gruff. They all had the same name. Isn't that silly? There was very little grass in the valley and the billy goats were so hungry. Can you rub your tummy? They were so, so hungry. They wanted to go up the hillside to a fine meadow full of grass and daisies where they could eat and eat, and eat, and get that. But on the way up there, there was a bridge over a rushing river. <laughs> and under the bridge lived a troll who was as mean as he was ugly. First, the youngest Billy Goat Gruff decided to cross the bridge. Trip! Trap, trip, trap, with the bridge. Who's there tripping over my bridge? Roared the troll. It's only I, the I... tiniest billy goat gruff. And the billy goat was saying it in his very, very small voice. And I'm going to the meadow to make myself fat. And there he is, trying to cross the bridge. Do you think he's going to be able to get across? We'll find out. A little later, the second Billy Goat Gruff came to cross the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. Who's that tripping over my bridge, roared the troll. Oh, it's only I, the second Billy Goat Gruff. And I'm going up to the meadow to make myself fat, said the billy goat. And his voice was not so small. No, you're not, said the troll, for I'm coming to gobble you up. No, you're not, said the troll. Oh, please don't take me. Wait a little till the third billy goat gruff comes. He's much bigger. Very well, be off with you, said the troll. Then came up the third Billy Goat Gruff. Trip, trap, trip, trap, 
trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. The third Billy Go Gruff was so heavy that the bridge creaked and groaned under him. Ooh, he was a heavy Billy Goat. Who's that tripping over my bridge? Roared the troll. Oh, he's so scary. It is I, the big Billy Goat Gruff, said the Billy Goat, and his voice was as loud as the troll's. Now I'm coming to gobble you up, roared the troll. Well, come along, said the big billy goat gruff. I've got two horns and four hard hooves. That's his feet. See what you can do. So climbed up the mean, ugly troll, and the big billy goat gruff butted him with his horns, and he trampled him with his hard and he tossed him over the bridge into the rushing river. Then the big Billy Guff went, Gruff went up the hillside to join his brother. In the meadow, the three Billy Goats Gruff got so fat that they could hardly walk home again, and they're probably not there yet. So snip, snap, snout. This tale is told out. And that was the end of that ugly troll. No one had ever seen him ever again. The end. Did you like that story? That was such an awesome story. There was a big problem. And the big problem was that the three Billy Goats Gruff had a rickety bridge to cross over. So let's try to build them a bigger bridge so that they won't make so much noise. Because if they're very quiet, maybe the troll won't be able to hear them. So you'll need to get some cups. You can get some plastic cups or some... Um, disposable cups and some craft sticks or popsicle sticks and they could be the little skinny ones or bigger ones or brown or whatever color you have make sure you gather them and then come back and also if you have some little animals so that we could test out our theory alrighty so I have some craft sticks and I have my animals. So I'm going to put two cups here like that. And then I'm going to give Brandon two cups. Here you go. That's for you. And I have some sticks. So we need to play around with the number because we're not exactly sure how many sticks we're going to need. Another one to balance it out. <gasps> up, 
We gotta try it again. So I'm going to take one more stick and see if that's good enough. All right, so let's see if it's ready now. So now I have four sticks. There go the first animal. The second animal. Let's see. And the third animal. Yay! So it looks pretty good. You did a very good job. Can I see yours? Yay! You did a good job. Did you did you make yours? Look. Did you make yours? Are you building yours? You building it? And then if you want, you can even build a third bridge. You can make your bridge as long as you want. It is your bridge. I need to move it up just a little bit. next time on Thursday story time. <laughs> but before we go, can you say goodbye? Skinner Murray, eating, eating, skinner Murray, you too. I love you. Skinner Murray, eating, eating, skinner Murray, you too. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening. And underneath the moon. Skittermurry, kitty, kitty, skittermurry, you do. I love you. And I can't wait to see you next week. Next week is going to be another story and another activity. So make sure that you visit us next time. Bye bye. Rayleigh, you want to say bye bye? Bye. <laughs> bye bye.